Hey guys, it's that time of the week again. It is Sunday and it's five o'clock. So it's time for So Sweet Sunday. And today, let's see. Oh, I forget every time. While you all are coming in, I will share. Uh -oh. Wait, did something change? Oh, maybe it's right here. Y'all, we go through this every week, I promise. One of these days, I'm going to figure out how to share from the beginning. But no, seriously, something's different on here. Hey, Eve. I'm just trying to figure out how to share once again. We go through this every week, you know that. Something's different. Am I going crazy? Invite. I can invite people. I can, well, maybe I'll think about it somewhere halfway through it and figure it out. Draw. All right, so if anybody thinks about it while I'm going live, just give me a couple of instructions in the comments. But anyway, as promised, it is time for our tutorial. And today we will be making a key fob. See it? It's a little key fob. You can put it on a keychain. I don't have a keychain or the um, little D-ring, but like this could just act as one. It's kind of like a keychain. All right. And this cute little file came from, and I tagged it in the in the um, notes. It came from my chaotic embroidery, and the vinyl that we're going to use this pink vinyl that i used for the first one that one came from embroidery bows and vinyl embroidery bows vinyl and more it's tagged um in the notes i am going to show you the goodies that she sent me though it's a bunch of glitter pieces this one has a lot of glitter okay they're all glitter vinyl that one's a rainbow glitter I got two of those with two of each of those. This one is also uh, also glitter, but it is it's like the shiny, so it doesn't the glitter doesn't come off. This is really driving me crazy that I can't share. Well, share everybody, share for me because my things at the bottom here look a little different. Guess for press. Okay. Um, but anyway, back to the vinyl. This one's the cute rainbow. Not really rainbow, It's but it's different colors. You see it. And then we have purple. And I'll show you this one. We have green. Okay, so it's a bunch of other ones just like this. And we have a pink one. And then we have a mermaid. This is a cute mermaid one. I ordered I ordered four of them because I wasn't I hadn't worked with vinyl before, so I didn't know how much was gonna come in the pack or how big it was. So I ordered I thought I ordered four, but I just see three here. So I must have ordered three. Um and they're big. So if you all order from her, they're big sizes. And let's go ahead and we're gonna do the same exact design, but we're gonna do it on the green since today is St. Patrick's Day. Teresa, I love the glitter too. Uh, the funny thing is after I was done working with this one, I went and looked in the mirror and I had glitter all over my face. But it was cute glitter, so it was okay. But anyway, like I was telling you all, this one right here, thank you, Eve. You shared it to a couple groups for me. Hey, Quana, if you're there, is something different about um, how I can share my live? I can't find the um, thing in the bottom. If you know what's going on, send me a little message in the comments. Help a sister out. All right, so this is the green um, since it's St. Patrick's Day. And then on the back is the glitter. So we're going to use the shiny side, okay? And we're going to do it on our six needle. And I'm going to use the, um, what size is this? Well, basically the four by four. Okay. I've already hooped some tearaway 
and I can I use I, I bought these little perfect sizes they're good for the 4x4 four four or the um, clamp frames this size which is the six by five. You can use, you can do it on this one too, but I decided to just do it on the four by four since I know everybody doesn't have the clamps. Um, so that one, okay. Alrighty. Y'all, right before I started the live, I was like frantically looking for, and I've lost it again, I'm going crazy, for the little key fob example I was gonna show you. Okay, I lost it, I don't know how. But the good news is I found it. And all right, we're gonna go home because I wanna show you all how I pull it up. Let's go ahead and put the hoop on. Get that out of the way. Are you around? All right. So in order to get it, we're gonna Pull it out of our um, our memory thing. This is connected to the computer. You know, you can also use your memory stick to go right in there. I just prefer to do it from here because it's just easier to save from the computer. And you want to click your design. So if you all notice, the one that I had, that I made the other day, I made it Friday night. It has the filled in, um, the filled in stitches. See that? It's all filled in. But then when I was looking on her page and a lot of other people did the test stitches and they displayed it they didn't have anything in the middle and I thought that was kind of cute so I'm gonna try to do one without the filling in the middle and see how that goes all right so then we've got it there we hit set I don't want to rotate it or anything it's it's perfectly fine so we'll end edit and what we, what we can do is oh sorry I was threading earlier I guess I didn't finish it No, let's start. I said no, but I, it's still in. Okay. Anyway. All right, so I just went and did my trial anyway. What I'm going to do real quick is my thread is in a funky position. It's actually stuck to my threader. Y'all, the most, I'm telling you, this has never happened. The most random stuff happens with y'all. Hey Fran, don't mind me. My thread is just stuck to my threader. Look at there. Let's just cut it and start over. This has never happened. Oh, there we go. Let's see if we can do this one handed. I'm gonna go with no. All right, so we're going to thread it real quick. Thread it back. All right, I'm going to put y'all down for a second. Because it's just not working one-handed. Still here. Talk amongst yourselves. How about everybody tell me where you're from? I always like to see where you're tuning in from. How far and wide are we stretched? All right, so now that my, I made a mistake and unthreaded one of them, so I'm gonna get that threaded. Get hot with this little cardigan on. I'm all dressed up because I went to church today. All right, I think we got it. Let's see, maybe I can just pull you all closer. Yeah, I usually pull the long piece down too. I don't know it, what would happen was it was um, it was in the middle of threading when I did the the thing to go around and tell me the parameter. All right, let's try this again. This time I'll do it manually. 
I mean, I know it's not going to hit, but I just always like to make sure because I've had a scenario, you guys, where my needle hit the side of one of these things on, on a hoop that didn't come standard with the machine, and it almost put an eye out. I, I really had a, um, a scar above my eyebrow because it broke the needle and it sent it flying. All right, so we're going to close it. And what I did not do... I didn't set my colors because I want you all to see that while I go through. And you all will see me thinking that process through. I'm not sure what, I know what colors I'm going to do, but I don't know what order. So this is how you change the colors on it. You're just going to go through, select it. That's the out, that's the first stitch. I'll make it black. Let's see the next one. That first one was the basting stitch. This one is going to be the one that is actually going to be on top of the vinyl. So I'm gonna make that one black too. This one is did I change? Alright, and I want to use gold for my crown. So that is number three up there. And for my little prongs, I think I decided on pink. And that's number four. And then I'm going to go back to black because I want to do, this is going to be my top stitch going around. So on this pattern, what I would suggest is whatever your first stitch, let's see, that one, this one doesn't matter what color. Whatever your first stitch is going to be, I suggest you do that for your last one too because um, I don't know if you can see. But you see how you can see a little white underneath there? That was because I made that stitch white. And then the top stitch I made was black. But, I mean, it's not worst case scenario. It still looks cute. Back through. And let's close that. I'm going to put y'all back. So that we can get the vinyl on. And you don't need much. All you need, let's see, what's the comments? What's going on? All right. So this is going to be our vinyl. And I'm not going to cut a really, really big piece. I'm going to just try to get enough just to get inside there. So you don't need a whole lot. It might glitter all over me again. Probably would have been easier had I not done it on the machine. All right, so we're going to eyeball it. Yeah, it's my favorite thing to do. Eyeball it. Pray it works. So I am going to spray it down. When am I going to do yours, Gordon? I'll do it soon. I promise. Let's see. I want to spray it down. Let's take this off again. You can either spray the back of your project or the hoop. Ugh. Oh, you know what, guys? I didn't do the basting stitch. Why didn't y'all remind me? Let's just do that real quick. All right, so we'll go ahead and hit lock and get started. Can y'all see how close in do we need to get? I don't know if y'all can hear it, but my stomach is growling. I'm not hungry because I cooked earlier. All right, so let's start that one. Can you see it? So that's going to be that first stitch that's going to show us where to put it. Oh, 
and I didn't put any of the stops in there. You can put the stops. I wish I had done that so I could have shown you all how to do it. And okay, that's this. So that's the stitch. I don't know what's going on with that one. It did it the other night. It kind of it didn't catch, but it's okay. You don't really, you won't see that one in the end. So I'm gonna just cut it out of the way. Okay. Now we're gonna put the glue. <clears throat> Make sure you're in a well-vented area with this glue. Okay. Let's spray the back of it, too. I don't know how it'll go with all this glitter on the back. Well, I hope. All right, make sure you don't push too hard. You don't want your bottom um, frame to fall out. Some people pin it. You can also pin it. I don't really like to pin it when it's on here because then I feel like it it makes my stabilizer um, shift or something. All right, lock, and let's do the top one. Hey, Jamie. Welcome, hit share. This is what we're making today. Can you see it? It's a fob, a key fob. Um, friend, these are the ones that I have mighty hoops too. I have a mighty hoop also, but this one is the one that actually came with the machine. Hey Dawn. Welcome. This is my only time. I mean, only. Uh, all right, what else are we doing? Okay, this is only my second time doing this, so. We're learning together. All right, now we're doing the crown. I mean, the gold part around the crown. Yeah, friend, that's the only one mine came with. I had to buy those other hoops. I had to buy them separately. I'm going to cut the other piece. Let's see, what are we doing now? Okay, now we're doing the little three dots around the crown. These things. I feel like I'm forgetting something. This is going so fast. And a whole bunch of other designs if you just check out the my chaotic embroidery um, page or either site she's on Etsy also um, she has a ton of cute designs and she's always releasing new ones um, in her group and on her page I'll show off the vinyl again at the end I'll kind of go back over what I went over in the beginning while I was trying to figure out how to share it. I don't know what happened. Something changed. All right, we're doing the last little crown dot. So now we're gonna pause because this is an important step. All right, take it off and you're gonna flip it over. 
Okay, so this is what the back looks like. You're gonna flip it over and put your back piece on there. The reason why we didn't put them both down at the same time is because we didn't want all this showing through or actually this one had more um, detail and then stuff on the back that would have shown through right here. So it's kind of like just a covering piece that will keep you from having all the eyesore. So we don't have to do another basting stitch because we already know the exact outline that you need. So as long as it covers that, it'll be good. So let's spray some more. I'm gonna spray it on here too. Put it down just make sure your corners are down good enough so that when you put it back on it doesn't lift up and get stuck underneath or either you know roll back so I kind of just I keep my hand underneath there to feel it and make sure you clip that in. When I did it the first time, I didn't clip it in and my alignment was off a little bit. I just had to take the stitches out. No biggie. Then I started back over. All right. Looks all good. And we hit start and go again. Doing a cute little top stitch. It's going so fast because I didn't do that the middle part. You can also put you can put initials in the middle. You can put another little design. You can just kind of make it make it your own. Welcome to all the new people. Thank you for joining us. We're making a key fob. This one without the middle part. Okay, it's so sweet Sundays. Hit share. Share me to all of your friends. All right, and then the last part is just a little circle stitch to show you where you want to put the little clamp. Last little bit, less than a minute left. Hey, Tasha. All right, I'm gonna move you all back. All right, that's my favorite sound. It means we're done with the machine. All right, take it all, the machine, and this is what you have. Okay, and that's the back. If it's a couple of little, um, so this part won't really matter because it's going to fold over. But down here, I just cut those little stitches. It's kind of inevitable. I mean, you're going to have a little bit of something going on in the back. Take it out the hoop. And this is the fun part. So, let me just apologize to everybody that I have ever looked at one of your key fobs and i'm just gonna be honest i kind of judged you guys i was like you know what the line isn't straight it can't be that hard to cut it's hard to cut these things it's hard to cut them in a perfect little thing going around the edge so if you have ever cut this key fob or not this key fob but if you have ever cut around vinyl and your cuts look good i commend you because it's not really an easy thing to do to get it perfect that was just my little thing I put out there. But sorry for judging you. All right, so I just kind of do a big cut around the outside. And then I go back with these snips. All right, so bear with me. 
I'm going to just cut around it. Can you all see? It's not the most fun part, but it's important. All right, and I just eyeball it to see a good little, a good amount from there. This one isn't as detailed until we get to like right in there. That one takes a little more concentration. And I find that when I use the small scissors, it just goes a little, I can control it more. I'm shaking. Y'all, I'm shaking for real. I feel like I should have put some music on for y'all for this part. Anybody have tips? Tricks? How do you all cut? Share with me. Uh oh. See? Oh, see, I got too close. And then when you get too close, you try to compensate and then you wind up overcompensating so I'm just gonna start up here there I go again cutting with my mouth open vinyl scissors serrated oh see I didn't know that even existed Don I mean Eve Might have to look those up if I do more of these projects. And these, I mean, see how fast this was? The cutting part is probably what's going to take me the longest. Um, okay, so I'm going to go back and do that part at the end. Glides through like butter. I should have I should have asked you about this before I started because that would have been that would have been a cute thing to display or to showcase. So cut around. I've seen some that cut a little closer. Maybe as I do more, I'll get more comfortable. When I'm not shaking as much. Oh, but what was I saying? This is a cute little um, fast project. It's so fast that you can just mass produce these and have them, if you do a vendor event, you can have them for, um, oh, high school students. And they can have their school colors. That's a good idea. I'm actually gonna teach my daughter how to do it so that she can, she can sell, make her a little extra money. You know, people buy from kids. Thank you, Jamie. Jamie says I'm doing an amazing job. Who knew all that practice in kindergarten and elementary school would pay off right now? All right, let's go back through this piece. What did I do? Let me see. Where's the other one? I want to try to cut it the same way. All right, so I just kind of did a little, okay, Let's see if I can recreate that. Like I said, if you make a mistake, try not to just keep going and correcting your mistake because you'll wind up just messing it up even more probably. You don't want to do that. Once you've done the, the whole thing, you don't want to mess up at the very end. So for that reason, I'm probably about to stop cutting. I mean, this is good. If this is the only piece that I had a problem with out of the whole design, 
I'd say I'm doing good. I'd say this is a good design, good starter design. Look, see, there I go. I'm sitting up here trying to fix my mistakes. Okay. Good deal. Okay, so we're not quite done yet. It's cute. I love it. What we have to do is put that little snap on. So we go into my trusty snap bag. I'm going to use cam snaps. This is probably the only sewing thing that I have that I keep organized. Is this little thing. I still have it in the bag with all the little tools. Um, just in case anybody wants to get these particular ones, there's a bunch of others. Um, other brands that aren't actually cam snaps and they may work just as well. I'm not sure. I think I bought some on wish.com just to try them out. Then I made a mistake and mixed it in with my actual cam snap. So I don't know which ones are the cam snap. It's just one color, not all of them. I think white I was trying out. So yeah, I don't know which ones are the cam, the cam snaps and which ones are the, the cheaper version of it. But this is what it is. Um, cam snaps, you can get it at camsnaps.com. I actually ordered it on my favorite place, Amazon. Y'all know I love some Amazon. So let's pick a color first. Oh, see how I, I'm so proud of me. Look, I'm organized. That has, well, I have two colors in there, but one's in a bag. All right, let me stop playing before I drop all these. Can y'all see? You're back, Jen, where'd you go? I'm glad you came back. All right, so maybe a, what color? Tell me what color. All right, so I'm gonna show you all a couple colors that I'm thinking. And then you all give me the yay or the nay. I don't have a gold. Okay. Throw on some colors in the chat. So I'm thinking pink. Or gray? Maybe I should do it this way. Gray? I don't think gray. Okay, we're going to take gray out. Fran said green. Uh, the only problem is I may not have that shade of green. Do I? See, I like contrasting it. That's why I was thinking the pink. Gold. Andre, I don't think I have the right color gold. I know why you want gold. That one is like a yellow. That won't look cute. Nope. I'm not feeling it. Green. I feel like it's so much green going already. Are we going back with pink? I think so. Let's go back with pink. Okay. Looks like that's what the majority says. Hey, Miss Margaret. Welcome. This is what we're making today. I don't know if you were here already. Oh, actually, I can show you this one. Duh. Okay. I know you're late. It's okay. I'll forgive you. You're one of my biggest cheerleaders. You and my mom. Okay, I'm just picking all the things out. Oh, I lost one. Okay, so we got the front, we got the back. So how this works, you need four pieces. I meant to look up the name of the, um, the, the way it goes, you know, like the, the front part and the back part. So that piece, do you see that has a little raised edge? And then the difference from this side, it does not have a raised edge. So that means this part fits into that part. 
okay and these two back pieces that have the the, the needle or the pin part sticking up those go into it so it's easier for me to just show you you take your little ice pick thingy you know I'll rename everything and you try and stick it through that middle through the middle of the hole there right through the center try not to stick yourself all right go ahead and do both sides okay so what I do I just kind of think it through you want to make sure this is on the outside because once you clamp these down they're not coming off I think maybe one time in life I got it back off when I was doing a bib and um, yeah because otherwise you'll have to start your project all over again so I know I want to, it's gonna clamp that way so the outside and then I'm gonna use the one with the, the little raised and you take your tool Grease that and do some WD-40. And you let the little smooth part fit down into that little black part there. Y'all are quiet today. What's going on? And once it's there, you squeeze it and then you let it go. Okay. Then we do the other side. All right, so you wanna make sure the smooth part is on the outside. Just push it through the little hole that you've made. Then you put the opposite, so you don't want the raised one, you want the one that the raised one will fit down into. Same thing with this again, you sit it in, there you go. You sit it in the um, smooth, you sit the smooth part down in the black part, and then you squeeze. And then you snap it together. Done. I don't have a keychain in here. Let's try this. Let's act like this is a keychain. Um, okay, so the reason I don't have a keychain, I tried today. I was going, I went and I was at Joanne and I was going to buy a D ring with the clamp thing on it. You can use that, or either you can use the circular key ring that you use for your regular keys and and put it on like that. So you could use that or those. But anyway, this is like my makeshift one, okay? So let's just act like that's a keychain. And there you go. That's what it looks like. Okay. So that's what we made today. Um, I'm gonna just show you all a couple of things. If you all were late joining, I got my design from My Chaotic Embroidery. I, I tagged it in the in the notes. And also I got my vinyl from uh, Embroidery, Bows, Vinyl, and more. Let me show you the vinyl again. This was the green that we used. That's the green one. Hey, Karan. And she sent me these. Isn't that cute? It's a mermaid one. She mentioned something about glitter in the middle. This is, it doesn't have the glitter. You see, it doesn't have glitter in it, but I think she may have another one that does actually have a glitter component. And then this one, I used some of it last night to do the other one. We got purple. This one is the shiny one. And then on the other side, you have the glitter. So that's what makes it glitter on that side. But this silver glitter side isn't, you're not going to see that part. And then, oh, I like this one. I got to figure out something. I need to find some more um, designs to do so that I can use all these up. Got that one. And then I have the one with like loose glitter. This one. Oh, this is cute. I'm just gonna hold them two at a time. This one. Hey Susan, welcome. That's cute. 
I'm gonna have glitter everywhere. Okay. Oh, and I realized after I start, after I got the glitter in the mail from her, I realized that I already had some from when I went to embroidery market, everything embroidery market last year for the first time. So look at what I had already. But this is thicker. I don't know how this will work. This is from, see, I, I bought it and literally they stayed in the bag. I didn't do anything with it. This is from glitterbugfairy.com. Yeah. That's cute. It's a bunch of them like this. It just, I didn't know what I was buying them for at the time. So since I have all this vinyl, y'all give me some ideas. If you make vinyl um, files, tag me on your page. Join my page also. It's, it's called It's So Sweet to Learn. Feel free to check me out. Look at this one. That's cute, isn't it? I have no idea what I'm going to make with them. Okay. Those are fly. I use vinyl to make zipper bags. Ooh, that'd be a good idea. Susan, you'll have to show me how to do that. Maybe I can sew some of these up. Bear with me. I got a couple. I have like two more bags. Y'all, I'm telling you, I just bought them because they were on sale. <laughs> I kind of have a problem with doing that. Anybody else have a problem with just buying because it's on sale? Just me? Y'all going to just leave me by myself with that? All right, these are shiny. One more bag. Ooh, I think these are my favorite. They're like snake print. Yeah, Susan, you're gonna have to show me how to make a bag because this would be so cute for that. But wait, there's more. I did go out. But I, in my defense, Fran, in my defense, I think they all came together in the bag. I, I think it was like a package deal. If you buy one, I think the bag was a price and they already had it set up for, um, for the show special. That's cute. I love the snake print too. Eve, my mom does not. I have a cute snake print bag and she hates it. She will not touch anything that's snake print. That's my favorite. Look at that. Y'all, I would like a pair of pants out of this. Would y'all still be my friend if I wore pants like that? I bet you would. All right, so those are my vinyl. And then one last thing. Today, while I was in Joanne this morning, guess what I found? If you're in my group, um, you already know, but I found the Snag Nabbit in the store. I found it in Joanne. It was like $4. Let's open, well, I'm not going to open it because I bought another one just in case I lose my first one that I had. So this, let's, I'll just show you the first one. Okay. I've demoed this in all my videos, but I always get questions about it because, um, I mean, it's so useful. Okay. Susan, if I would have thought about it, I'd have picked you one up today. Um, because I had a couple coupons. That would have given me a reason to come visit you again. All right. So I think that's all I have um, for today. That was a quick... That was a quick project. So just imagine, like I said, how many of them you can do in one sitting. You could probably even... Um, you could probably even set them all up on, I guess, I, oh, there it is. I put it up on your big, on your biggest hoop and then just stitch away. Like, let's say I did one, like one on here. I could probably put this down, pin it down or either glue it down and stitch away and then put the thing on the bottom. But make sure if you do it that way, make sure you change how it's going to stitch because you can't. You can't do one whole one and then go to the next one. You have to do all of the tops and then change your stitch order and then put it underneath the bottom and then do the bottoms. Okay? I'm telling you all that because that's kind of reminding myself. 
because otherwise I would I would probably be the one that forgets and does it the wrong way okay so there you go this was our project today thank you all for tuning in any questions comments suggestions I'm trying to think if there was something else I wanted to show you all I feel like this went so fast all right so I don't see any questions but it's super easy, super cute. You can put them on the key ring. Um, just check them out. Make you a couple of them and show me. Tag me on my page. Tag me on either my, my personal page, on my It's So Sweet to Learn, or So Sweet Monogramming is my, um, is my business page. So make a couple of them, post it on my page, tag me, and let's just see how it goes. Fun times. But just remember, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it has to be pretty. See you guys next time.